Thanks for sending this out, you guys, over at High Side Coffee. I am not associated with them at all. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them. Uh, they just emailed me a few months back, asked me if they could send me some coffee, and I have been using this the past several months, uh, since like probably January or February. These things are awesome. Um, you just open it up. It's literally a tea bag. Uh, it's not tea, it's coffee, but it's way easier and way, way better than uh, freeze-dried coffee. Uh, you just put this in your boiling pot of water and let it sit for five to seven minutes and you've got a fresh cup of coffee. So anyway, that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here because you want to see my new water filter. Uh, actually, you probably already have if you uh, watch my videos on a regular basis. Last week I posted a video um, right up here. I will put that up. And I talked a little bit about the water filter and the whole system that I'm gonna talk about today. If you guys wanna check out that video, make sure you go check that out before you watch this video so you can kinda get an idea of what exactly I'm using. But I'll talk about it in this video too. So totally up to you guys. All right, so the water filter that I have been using literally for years, and I'm talking like, maybe four or five years backpacking has been this right here. This is the Sawyer Squeeze. Obviously, uh, probably the most popular water filter available. This actually filters down to 0.1 microns. I don't know what that means. I just know that when I drink the water that this filters, I don't get sick. All right, so when I was using my uh, Sawyer Squeeze. I was using it with this Knock Vecto. Um, and basically, you just take the top off of the bag like this, and uh, you open it up. You can just scoop up water in really shallow places very easily with this nice wide opening here. It's really convenient. And I used it like a gravity... <laughs> I used it like a gravity feed system. So what I would do is I would connect this tube uh, to the bottom here, and then I would connect the filter down here. You know, it's a little cumbersome. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but it, it does work. It's a little heavy. I wanna say it weighs like six or seven ounces total for everything here. Um, and it's, you know, relatively convenient, especially if you're like me and you're hiking with kids or, you know, you're hiking with a friend or whoever and you want to be able to filter for the group or filter for more than one person. Or if you're just filtering for yourself, you can easily filter up two water bottles. But the problem is, is you got to find like a tree too. So you got to find a place to hang it. And it's got to be the right height because the water bottle sometimes needs to sit on the ground and balance, or you got to kind of put it between your feet to kind of hold it. So, you know, they do sell a coupler that you can uh, put on the end here that uh, turns these threads around so you can put a water bottle on there. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Okay, but then I was watching some videos online and um, I kept seeing the Catadyne Be Free water filter. Um, I've seen it for many years actually, but I really just kind of, you know, I wasn't interested in swapping out my water filtration system because it works and it worked pretty well. And I thought I had it dialed in really good. So it wasn't like on my mind, but then I got a gift card. And uh, so I had a couple extra bucks to spend on some outdoor gear. And I thought, what am I going to spend it on? I've got tons of gear already. I have been hearing about this Catadyne Be Free. Let's go ahead and try it out. I ordered it uh, when it was still freezing cold outside, so it kind of sat, and then it sat through all of the coronavirus stuff, and then finally, once the park started opening up, I was able to take it out. So it's been out on three trips with me, and I've filtered probably 30 to 40 liters through it. Uh, everything from really sandy, dirty water to crystal clear water coming out of streams, uh, water that you couldn't really see through very well, lake water, stream water, all of the above. Not only for myself, but I filtered for other people that I was hiking with as well. As a matter of fact, it became like the group water filtration system. So here is what it looks like. Now, out the gate, you can already see that this is way smaller. It's not a gravity feed. Um, you're gonna have to squeeze it no matter what. So why would I go for this water filter over the Sawyer Squeeze, especially the tried and true, probably the most popular water filter on the market. Everybody seems to be using it. Well, 
Once I got this in my hand and I tried it out on trail, it became evident that this thing is absolutely awesome. And then, not only was it awesome, but it reached another level when I realized, and I talked about this in my last video, I could take this, the Aqua Clip. This is a piece of gear that is so simple. It's literally just a piece of plastic uh, with like a 90 degree angle and I could clip it onto the top of my Be Free water filtration system. So I'll throw some video up here from the last video I put out last week uh, so I can show you some B-roll kind of me using this and how it works. But you can just take this off, drink, and then, uh, only if I got an extra hand it's easier, slip it back on there and you're done. And you're thinking, well Dan, why in the world would you make another video this week? Well because this thing is so genius it makes literally so much sense and it was so useful um, as a matter of fact uh, when i went on that trip um, i also brought this whole setup here and i let uh, my buddy phil who was with me on that trip use it and uh, we nobody used it uh, it was easier to use this it was actually faster to use this and it was so much easier that our daughters were actually going and filtering all the water for us. We didn't even have to think about it. So this system over here, the Sawyer Squeeze, that whole gravity system, that's got a little bit of a learning curve to it. You know, my daughter, who's 11 years old, would have a difficult time trying to figure that out, hanging on the tree, you know, making sure that the, the water bottle is loosened enough so air can get back into the, the water bladder bag and that sort of thing. So this was just like, literally, you take the bag, it does have a nice wide hole on the top. Now it's not nearly as wide as the Knock Vecto. Don't get me wrong, this is a better bag over here for sure. And I do believe that Knock makes a bag that will fit this filter. So if you wanna check that out, uh, go ahead and check that out. If I can find it, I'll make sure I put a link in the description below for you guys. But this bag is actually sufficient, in my opinion. At least it was on this last trip. Um, you know, the bag has a hole wide enough that you can get into pretty decently uh, shallow spots. Um, it does fill up decently quickly. And this is a one liter bag. A one liter water bottle looks like your standard water bottle, your smart water bottle, or this one just happens to be a life water bottle. You know, uh, it's the standard size everybody brings. And they look different sizes, but this actually holds the exact same amount of water. One liter of water. There you go, now you got your one liter of water that you can literally strap onto your sternum strap or your backpack or wherever you want. Um, and you can actually get rid of a smart water bottle or a plastic water bottle if you don't want to carry it. Now, I wouldn't do that. I'm still planning on bringing two of these with me on every trip just so that I can have a three liter capacity if I need it. You know, they weigh next to nothing anyway, so it's not really a big deal if this is empty in my bag. I don't really care about this much extra weight. Now I'll kind of show you how well this thing flows so you can kind of see it yourself. Now, I have not cleaned this filter since my last hike, uh, like I said, I filtered probably 30 or so liters through it. Um, I have cleaned it uh, midway, so maybe this has 15 to 20 liters of dirty water filtered through it. So let's just kind of see how well this does. All right, now that cup, <laughs> it's full. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a full cup. That did not take long at all. So you can see that this thing filters super fast. It's almost like eerily fast. Like, did it really clean my water? But you know, I drank all that water, never got sick. So it's absolutely working. It does have uh, the same, I believe, filters also uh, the 0.1 microns like this Sawyer Squeeze does as well. A <sighs> little coffee residue in there. So this is obviously a match made in heaven in my opinion. This clip, this bag, this water filter, I literally 
do not have to even stop hiking anymore if I, if I don't want to. I don't even have to take my backpack off to filter water. I don't have to ask someone to grab my water bottle. Um, I don't have to try to break my arm to reach back and grab a water bottle anymore. I mean, it's literally that easy. So this is 100% gonna be my new setup. I am dumping the Sawyer. Uh, I'll, I, you know, I'll keep it around for uh, a spare filter in case I lose this one, or maybe somebody's coming with me and they don't have a filter, or maybe in an area where I need a backup water filter. But this is definitely gonna be coming with me on every single trip and I'm super excited to use it. So if you guys wanna find out where you can get this, I will put a link in the description below where you can check it out. I also have a coupon code where you can uh, use uh, there and hopefully get 15% off as well. So check it out. Hey, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I will see you. Oh, by the way, I do have an Instagram. If you wanna check me out on Instagram, I will put that information right here for you guys and I will see you on the next one.